outlet box, and the XR outlet box comes with all the parts and pieces you need for assembly. Keep in mind this trim ring, we're going to take the trim ring off. You got to save the trim ring for later. After it's sheetrock, you'll need the trim ring to go back on. But inside the kit, you've got the XR3 fitting, and it's a term fitting without the flange, and we're going to use a jam nut to hold it into the box. Then in the bag is the bracket for mounting, the 90 degree shutoff valve, the jam nut to hold the box, and a plug for the end of the valve. We're going to mount the outlet box to the stud. All right, so now we're going to mount the bracket to the wall. Okay, so now our bracket is mounted to the stud, and the hole is lined up with the box, so the CSSD can drop through the hole. Okay, so now to assemble the outlet box, Way to take a piece of floppy conduit because we're going to be constrained, concealed, and within three inches of the threat. We slide the floppy up the pipe. Then we take the locking jam nut, we slide that up the pipe. And then we run it through the bracket and the box and out so we can make a fitting assembly. We need to cut the tube, so to cut it, we're using the tubing cutter. And we're going to use light roller pressure and extra revolutions. The first time around, I'm just cutting the jacket, giving it a little turn, a couple spins, a little turn, and just take your time, it'll pop right off. If it doesn't pop right off, all you need to do is just wiggle the pipe. Now, the jacket stripping tool, we need to remove the jacket for the XR3 fitting. We need to use a stripping tool, they are size specific. It also has side one and side two, and side two is corrugated, so you can tell the difference. This little tab is just holding it closed. We don't use it during operation. We just bend it back up out of the way and leave it. Open it up. There's a definitive dead end stop. So when we put the pipe in, it goes right up against the dead end stop. We close the stripping tool, rotate it, and now to get it off, we actually have to relieve the pressure on this one because we're in the valley. Relieve the pressure, pull it straight off, and we've stripped it to the second valley back. So we have second valley back right there exposed. All three layers have been removed. Now what we want to do is take the debris out of the stripping tool, turn it around to side two. Same thing, we go to the dead end stop, close it down, rotate it, and then now just pull straight off. If it gets stuck, you can just simply peel that little piece of jacket right off, and we have it exposed second valley back, we have the mesh, and we're ready to make the fitting assembly. Take the fitting, take the nut, slide the nut up the pipe. So we crack the bushings in half, then the bushings go in the first valley back. One corrugation is exposed beyond the bottom of the bushing. We pinch the two bushing halves together, slide the fitting body on, bring the nut down, and tighten it up. Now, when you're tightening the fitting, a key point here is this fitting is not locked in or pipe built into a fitting component. It's not rigid. So we're tightening it in the air. When we do that, we need to hold the fitting body and spin only the nut. If we hold the nut and spin the fitting body, we're going to drive that body into the sharp end of the tube and we could, uh, we could ruin the fitting. Now we're going to slide the fitting back up through the box, through the bracket, then we drop the jam nut down and tighten it up. Let the 
floppy back down. We take our 90 degree shutoff valve. install the valve on the fitting. And the kit comes with, or the outlet box comes with the plug. 